Hello and welcome to this auction video for this Peugeot, uh, what is it, 308. It's on a 09 plate. Let's give you a little walk around. There's not a lot of damage on this. I've driven this one up and down the dual carriageway and uh, yeah, all drove very well, but it did come up with a couple of faults on the dash, but drove perfectly fine. But uh, I'll take you through the vehicle and we'll go through it and see what damage we can find as we have a walk around. Right, starting off down here, front driver's arch, we've got a little bit of a chip here, nothing really very serious. A few little marks, as you would usually get on the lower front balance there. Uh, a few stone chips on the front of the vehicle, but nothing that really stands out to me, apart until we get to this side of the car. Got a bit of contacts here and scratch scuffs through there. All the wheels are marked up. I have taken photos of those, so have a look on the description for more in the description of the on the photo. Sorry. Uh, there's a few light surface scratches going through here. Some marks on the mirror. Nothing horrendous though. A few light marks down here. Uh, another bit mark down there. I don't think there's been any contact on that seal there. I think it's just dirt. Um, a few little spots of rust coming up on that lower seal there. Again, that wheel, we'll go around the wheels separately in a moment. Um, a few little marks coming through here on the arch. Uh, there's been a bit of a scuff here. Um, let's have a look and see what else we can find. Uh, sorry about the light here. It's not the best light for this today. Um, yeah, a few little marks on the back bumper, but nothing horrendous. Uh, a few little marks looks around here, maybe some kind of previous repair maybe there. Uh, but it doesn't look too bad. A bit of lacquer coming off on the uh, rear arch there. A few little marks and scuffs on the arch. Scratch on the door, another kind of longer scratch on the door. Those might even polish out, they're quite light. A few little telltale chips, the usual kind of chips on the door. Um, another couple of little chips here, a couple of little marks there. The mirror slightly marked up, and that takes us through it. Damage wise, it's walking around each of the wheels. Give you a look through those. As I said, photos are there as well if you want to have a closer look condition of anything and there we go right let's have a look in the boot boot up operation of the boot is all good and we've got pretty tidy boot area and we have a repair kit and jack up there a lift let's have a look in the back Okay, so we've got electric windows all round. I have tested them and they are working. So that's good. Interior could benefit from more of a clean up. It has had a quick clean on our wash bay, but it could probably do with a little bit more work, but it's actually not that bad to be honest. Let's have a look from the opposite side. Again, electric window, that works fine. All looking. Quite tight and presentable actually. A little bit of mud there, but nothing terrible. Passenger side, window works. Electric windows all round. We've got some service history there and locking wheel nut. I will go through that with you in a sec. Let's get into the driver's side. <coughs> okay, we've got all the electric windows, electric mirrors, etc and getting back to the warning lights we've got an ABS fault and the ESP fault I think that's all related to the ABS it might be a simple fix replacing an ABS sensor something like that uh, we have a mileage of 128,396 miles the stoplight only came up because of uh, the um, ABS warning light. We've got aircon 
that appears to work, but I couldn't really tell you because it's like minus 50 outside and I can't tell if it's cold or just cold. So uh, yeah, five gears, everything like the handbrake, etc. that all looks good. Let's have a look at the service history. As I said, locking wheel nut, service history. We've got a few stamps in the book going back to 2010, 2011, 2014 and 2016. And um, again, the photos of that are taken. And then we've got some service um, invoices there. Have a look on there on the photos to see more of that. And let's have a look under the bonnet. Um, but yeah, regardless of these, um, these faults, uh, it did actually drive quite well. It's quite a responsive car actually, and I was quite impressed with it quite surprised that it covered 128,000. So let's have a look under the engine, under the bonnet even. Let's get you under there. just that uh, ABS fault showing up to consider. But anyway, nice tidy car. Hope you've enjoyed this video and happy bidding.